Good morning. Let us study today zero field splitting. What is called zero field splitting? It is represented by D. It is a zero field splitting tensor. And Grammer's theory. What is called Grammer's degeneracy in EPR spectroscopy? Before we study the zero field splitting, let us see or let us study about spin systems. There are three types of spin systems in EPR spectroscopy. S is equal to zero. That is, that is no unpaired electrons. In S equal to zero, there are no unpaired electrons. Therefore, EPR inactive. We have already studied. For species with the one unpaired electron, that is S equal to one by two. then it is epr active the third case is s greater than 1 by 2 more than here there is only one unpaired electron here in the spin system or in the species with s greater than 1 by 2 there are more than one unpaired electrons therefore definitely these species are epr active and further it they exhibit zero field splitting there are two cases for s greater than 1 by 2 even number of unpaired electrons and another case is odd number of unpaired electrons let us see even number of unpaired electrons for example p2 organic species transition metal complexes or transition metal ions d2 d4 for example d2 is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 equal to 1 or d4 2 is equal to 1 2 3 etc even number of unpaired electrons the second case is odd number of unpaired electron for example p3 d3 d5 transition metal complexes with the d3 d5 configurations s equal to 1 by 2. 2 plus there are three unpaired electrons 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 3 by 2 in the case of manganese 2 plus there are five unpaired electrons therefore 5 by 2 yes equal to 3 by 2 5 by 2 7 by 2 etc earlier in epr spectroscopy we have studied species with only one unpaired electron for example copper 2 d9 system free organic free radical species with s equal to 1 by 2 let us study now here the species organic species or transition metal ions with the more than one unpaired electrons d2 d3 for example p2 p3 there are two cases even number of unpaired electrons odd number of unpaired electrons in such case such cases with the s greater than 1 by 2 systems the spin degeneracy for example s equal to 1 there are three um, magnetic orientations minus 1 0 plus 3 they are degenerate in the presence of crystal field for example tetrahedral crystal field octahedral crystal field the degeneracy is lifted the degeneracy the spin degeneracy is removed by crystal field or zero field in the absence of even in the absence of magnetic field you will see further what is zero field splitting so what is zero field splitting it is represented by d the splitting of spin degeneracy or spin levels occurs even in the absence of magnetic field due to crystal field this phenomenon is called zero field splitting for example there are two cases odd number of unpaired electron s equal to 3 by 2 therefore there are four levels there are four um, it is um, four fold degenerate plus or minus 1 by 2 plus or minus 3 by 2 in the absence of in the gaseous state in the gaseous state the four levels are the four levels are degenerate 
whereas in the presence of in the in the presence of crystal field or in the, in the presence of ligand field in the complex in the metal complex these levels split into two levels spin levels due to zero field splitting in the presence of crystal field okay this splitting of spin degeneracy this splitting of the spin levels occurs even in the absence of magnetic field due to crystal field this phenomenon see these levels are split due to zero field splitting this phenomenon is called zero field splitting okay further in the presence of magnetic field further in the presence of magnetic field these are further split into four levels four fold okay degenerate therefore all are completely split minus 3 by 2 in nmr minus plus 3 by 2 is the ground state whereas in epr ms minus 3 by 2 is the ground state okay so the splitting of spin levels or spin degeneracy occurs even in the absence of magnetic field due to crystal field or ligand field in zero field splitting there is another term called cramer's degeneracy what is called cramer's degeneracy for for organic species or transition metal ions containing odd number of unpaired electrons for example s equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 2 as we have seen earlier okay the spin degeneracy of every the spin degeneracy of every level remains doubly degenerate this is see in the absence of in the gaseous state there is no crystal field okay in the presence of ligand field in the presence of crystal field in the metal complex it splits into the ground state is doubly degenerate and also the excited state is also doubly degenerate so this is called cramer's degeneracy for the species containing odd number of unpaired electrons the spin degeneracy of every level remains doubly degenerate the spin level you see there are two spin level each spin level is doubly degenerate okay whereas for even number of and for the species containing only even number of unpaired electrons the spin degeneracy of the ground state see in the in the gaseous state where there is no zero field splitting the s equal to 1 there are three levels 0 plus or minus 1 they are degenerate they are triply degenerate in the absence of zero field splitting in the presence of zero field splitting as you see it splits into two levels it split the spin level split into two levels the ground state is the spin degeneracy of the ground state is completely removed or singly degenerate okay in the presence further in the presence of um, magnetic field that is c mod due to z mod splitting these are plus or minus split into minus 1 plus 1 therefore there are three levels in the presence of magnetic field and zero field splitting there are two transitions by applying the um, epr selection rule delta m is equal to plus or minus 1 there are two epr peaks observed in the case of s equal to 1 okay let us see here what is the origin of zero field splitting the zero field splitting is it fs it is abbreviated as it is represented as d expressed in terms of d tensor occurs for systems with their ground states of spin greater than s greater than 1 by 2 we have already studied this to first order in perturbation theory the zero field splitting arises from the 
For example, there are two unpaired electrons or three unpaired electrons. Spin, spin, dipole, dipole interaction. To first order perturbation theory, the zero field splitting occurs due to spin, spin, dipole, dipole interaction. To second order in perturbation theory, contributions also arise from spin orbit coupling. What is spin orbit coupling? We have already studied in EPR spectroscopy in very nicely. The electron is press, electron spins spinning motion as well as there is uh, the electron, the same electron is present in orbital. So there is an orbital motion. The spin motion couples with the orbital motion resulting in spin orbit coupling. Okay. So the zero field splitting occurs mainly due to spin spin dipole dipole interaction and also partly due to spin orbit coupling. Thank you for watching.